Buckle up, because you're not going to believe what just happened. Mike Tyson and Jake Paul were supposed to face off in one of the most anticipated matches of the year. But things have taken a crazy turn. Chaos erupted when Mike Tyson, yes, THE Mike Tyson, threw a punch at Jake Paul that might have just canceled the fight. Stick around as we break down everything that went down and what this means for both fighters and the boxing world. Let's rewind a bit. This fight was originally scheduled for July. Tyson and Paul were set to face off in what many thought would be a clash of generations. However, the fight was abruptly canceled due to an unexpected medical condition on Tyson's part. The boxing community was stunned. Tyson, who had been training hard for this bout, had to pull out, and the fight was called off. The devastating news, I'm heartbroken, speechless, like gutted. We've been working so hard over here, everyone in this camp, and I just feel bad for everyone involved in this event, the whole undercard. This is opportunity has been ripped from all of us, but I do uh, value Mike's health first and foremost. Love that guy, I have so much respect for him, and um, I want Mike to be healthy. And he says he still is gonna knock me out, and I bought myself some time. <laughs> so Mike is still talking shit over there. Uh, but Mike, if you wanna do this, like you said, behind closed doors, behind the scenes, you've said you wanna do this in Q4, you just need a little bit of time. So I'm ready whenever you are, this is too big of an opportunity. I think this fight's gonna change the world. And I turn all my L's into W's, that's, a motto I live by, and the universe makes no mistakes. Let's see what's in store, but sorry this didn't work out. With Tyson out, Jake Paul didn't sit around waiting. He quickly lined up a new opponent, Mike Perry. In a thrilling turn of events, Paul took Perry out with a knockout, showcasing his skills and maintaining his momentum in the boxing world. Most boxing pros were counting on Mike Perry to do the job and knock Paul out. But hey, Paul showed people he's a force to be reckoned with. Yo, how many people are counting out Mike Perry? Isn't that interesting? I'm not counting Bro, him. it's wild to me. And then in all the comments, like, oh, dude, you must think it's bare knuckle. This is box. And I'm like, oh, you don't know what a fucking dog Mike Perry is. Yeah, he's a pit bull. You need to do your goddamn research. Mike There's Perry, no quit. He's a game bred pit bull. He's going to get in your people. fucking face for all eight of those rounds. And he was like, oh, this is a gimmick fight. I'm like, you're a moron. But you're in the Mike Tyson fight? Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, Mike Perry's dangerous. That's a super, the super most dangerous, dangerous fight. When is the Mike Tyson fight? December. It's supposed to be in November. Supposed to be. But that is, who knows if it's ever going to happen. I mean, Mike has ulcers. He does. He's a 58-year-old man most old man, man thing ever to get yeah. out of the fight. Oh, Mike. That's Mike like Tyson. a CEO problem. Yeah. yeah. He got on a plane. Yeah, Mike Perry's fighting in July. It's July 20th. Yeah. Yep. The Mike Tyson fight is in uh, November in Tampa, Florida, which is like Mike. That's Mike Perry's like, that's his source. It was a solid performance and kept Jake's career on track, despite the setback with Tyson. Fast forward to now, and the Tyson-Paul fight was back on the radar. The boxing world was buzzing again with the prospect of seeing these two in the ring. But just when it seemed like everything was falling into place, chaos erupted once more. Different date, same fate. I'm gonna knock out Jake Paul. During the lead up to the fight, tensions were high. Tyson and Paul were both at the venue, making their final preparations. But here's where things took a dramatic turn. As the fighters were getting ready, a major altercation occurred. Tyson reportedly threw a punch at Paul. The punch came out of nowhere and broke the internet along with Paul's face. Tyson, despite being older, still has that crazy power that made him the legend he is today. And from the footage, 
it's clear that his punch landed with some impact. The situation quickly escalated, with security rushing in to separate the two fighters. Jake Paul is one lucky one. If it weren't for the security, their Paul would be taking one long trip to the hospital. That's what you get for talking smack with the greatest and the most ferocious boxer of all time. Paul, fuck, fuck Jake, Jake Paul. Paul. I like fuck that shit, Jake. yeah. I hope y'all keep that same energy when I knock this old man the fuck out. He's fat. He should be lean and mean. He's fat and funky. I saw him with his shirt off the other day. He's fat. I thought... Buster Douglas was fat, am I right? I know, but you're no Buster Douglas. <laughs> I'm better. I'm you're, better. No, and I'm gonna, not, I'm gonna end you quicker than he did. And, and you'll remember that forever. You okay. started me off. I appreciate that, Mike. I love you. I love you. Like a father loves his son, but I must discipline you. <laughs> you're going down, old man. Okay, I love you too. Who did he knock out? Little, little children. He didn't knock out, never knocked out a real man. Come on. He didn't knock out, he didn't knock out um, Tommy Fury. Mike Tyson caught Paul with his famous uppercut. You know, once those connect, it's night-night for the other guy. Jake felt Tyson's power, which is why he decided it's best for him to pull his name out of the fight. I mean, that's better than getting knocked out in front of millions of people. Jake Paul has been called out for cherry-picking his opponents, mostly opting to fight retired or old fighters rather than real contenders. Critics say he's more interested in padding his record than actually proving himself in the ring. The one time Paul fought a legit boxer, Tommy Fury, he ended up with a loss. Of Vanderbilt scores it, 76-73, to the winner by split decision, Tommy! <laughs> this has led many to question whether he's really got the chops or if he's just a YouTube star playing dress-up as a fighter. The cancellation of the Tyson fight hits Jake Paul's career way harder than it does Tyson's. For Paul, landing a fight against a legend like Tyson was a golden opportunity to legitimize himself and prove he's more than just a YouTube personality cashing in on boxing. Without this fight, Paul risks staying in the realm of novelty acts rather than moving forward as a serious boxer. He needs this fight to show he's got the skills and not just a big social media following. But hey, then there's the argument, Mike Tyson is also old. I agree he's old, but he's also Mike Tyson. The guy is pushing 60 and is still training like he's in his prime. <laughs> His peekaboo is still as lethal as it was ages ago. If there's someone who's not only going to take Jake Paul to deep waters, but also drown him, it's Mike Tyson. I'm sure you have some opinions about Jake Paul. <laughs> Mike, Tyson. <laughs> Mike Tyson is 57 years old. Honestly, I just think it's sad, bro. I don't know why Jake took it. It's a lose-lose. Everyone's going to know him as the guy. <laughs> That knocked out an old it, Mike Tyson. At his age, if you get hit by one solid Turn Jake Paul prune, punch, prune juice. you're prune juice. <laughs> <laughs> it's Mike Tyson. Anything can happen. Jake could literally walk out without an ear. Like, bro, he's... <laughs> the funny thing is, Evander Holyfield followed me. Oh, there you yeah, go. Yeah. I said, nah. Not enough ears? No, I'm not. <laughs> but hey, say what you want about Jake Paul, but the guy can actually bang. If Joe Rogan himself is claiming Jake Paul to be a solid fighter, then there's got to be some truth to that. And what do you think of this Jake Paul fella? I always say that if Jake Paul was not a YouTube star, if people just looked at him like an up-and-coming boxer, you would say, this kid's got a lot of talent. Right. He's dangerous. He's dangerous. I think his strength is that people, for whatever stupid reasons, they underestimate him because of what his back... This guy has been training nonstop. But hey, all that training goes out the window since this fight is officially off the cards. Jake Paul's team was quick to respond. They confirmed that Paul was affected by the punch and that he would be undergoing medical evaluations. They also hinted at the possibility of pulling out from the fight due to the unexpected violence. Tyson's camp 
also released a statement. They expressed regret over the incident, but explained that Tyson's actions were a reaction to the high tension and provocation leading up to the fight. Tyson himself hasn't yet made a public comment, but the incident has certainly thrown a wrench into the plans. The big question now is, what happens next? Will Mike Tyson look for a replacement? Will Logan Paul step out to avenge his brother? There are a number of possibilities. We gotta wait to see how this one turns out. So, that's all from today's video. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon so you never miss our upcoming videos. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments section. Stay tuned, and we will catch you in the next video.